Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I am going to be showing you how to make simulator UI inside of Roblox Studio. Alright so the first thing I'm going to be doing is adding a, a screen GUI into starter GUI and then I'm going to add in a image button. Then you're going to want to change the size of this image button to 0 0.053 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0. This will give you a good size for it. And then you can scale it down to as much as you want. Depends. I'm actually going to just do 75 by 75. But make sure you are using scale instead of offset. As you can see here, you want the offset to be zero and the scale to be what you're using. All right. And then what we are going to want to do now is we can name this whatever we want. I'm just going to name it shop or something. And then. We are going to want to add in a UI corner and change the radius of the UI corner to 1, 0 so that it makes it into a circle. And then we're going to want to change the image of this image label to nothing. And then we're going to want to add in a stroke, change this the thickness of the stroke to 3. And then the next thing we want to do is change the anchor point to 0.5, comma, 0.5. Then you can position this to wherever you want it to go. And once you have it positioned, we can add in a text label. And then I'm going to change the size of this text label to 1, 0, 0, 0.348, 0. You can do any size, but this is just what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to change the position of this to 0, 0, 0, 0.867, comma 0, just so it goes down to the bottom. We're going to change scaled to true, background transparency to 1, fonts, we can do Fredoka 1, and then text color to white, and then we can copy the UI stroke and paste it into here. And then we can just name this label. And now we are going to want to add in a image label and then you're going to want to change the size of it to 0 0.8 comma 0 comma 0 0.8 comma 0 and you're going to want to change the anchor point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 and then you want to change the background transparency to 1 and then change the image to whatever image you want to use once you have the image in we can move on to the next part. I'm going to go ahead and change the size of this image label to 0 0.9 comma 0 comma 0.9 comma 0 just so it's a little bigger. And then now that we have the button done, we're going to add in a frame. We can name this shop frame. And we're going to make the size of this frame 0.4 comma 0 comma 0.45 comma 0 and then we're going to want to change the anchor point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 and then we can add in a ui corner add in a stroke and change the thickness of the stroke to 3 and then we can add in a frame and this frame we're going to want to change the size of it to 0 0.828 comma 0 comma 0 0.237 comma zero and then we're going to change the position of this just up here to the center just like that where it's half and half up here and then we can add in a ui corner or let's just copy this ui corner and this ui stroke and put it into here and then you can change the background color of this to a nice blue color and then you can add in a text label change the text label size to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 and the background transparency to 1 scaled to true font fredoka 1 text color to white and then we're going to put that stroke back into there just so then it looks nice like that i'm going to change the text of mine to shop you can obviously change it to whatever you want it to be. And now we have the basic UI. I'm going to also want to change this text down here to my shop. And we're going to make this shop frame visible to false. And now we can get on to the animating. So I want you to go into the description and find my UI module. And once you click on it, it'll put this in workspace. You just want to put it in replicated storage. 
just like that. And before we move on, you are also going to want to get this plugin in the description called Auto Scale Light. And you can do unit conversion and scale this so that it's the right size. And then you can add a constraint and then also add a constraint to the shop frame just so, so then they're always circles. And now we're gonna wanna go into the shop and add in a local script. And in this script, we're gonna do local UI module choir game dot replicated storage dot UI module. And then we're gonna wanna animate this by doing UI module dot animate script dot parent. And what this will do is go into the UI module and run this code right here. And you want to do whatever, wherever your button is. So mine's the script's parent. So I just did script.parent. Script.parent is clicked. You're going to want to connect it to a function. And we're going to do UI module dot toggle frame script.parent dot parent dot shop frame. Now this will open up the shop frame. Now we can test this out. So as you can see, we have the button on the left. When we hover over it, it gets larger. And when we click down, it gets smaller and let go. It gets bigger. And it brings up this little shop. We click it again, it goes away. And when we click, it brings it back up. So yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.